Welcome everyone to another Star Wars Duel the Public video. And for this video, we are going to be talking about how to make millions of credits. Specifically in this video, we'll be talking about the best items to buy low and sell high with. Now it's been forever since I've made a credit making guide and I'm quite excited to sit down and talk about this one because I don't know, I find from, from my videos, making credits is one of the most fun things to talk about. And um, there's just so much good stuff to talk about when it comes to buying low selling high for this patch specifically. I'm talking about patch 5.3 right now and patch 5.4 is just on the horizon. And if you guys can remember back in the day, I used to do um, a series of videos called how to make millions of credits patch and then whatever that patch was. And basically every new patch, I would talk about the best items to buy low and sell high with on the GTN. Now people seem to enjoy that, but it also had a downside to it because whenever I'd make videos like those, people would go and buy those items and then you would really never find those deals on the GTN and for that reason I decided to stop making that series but the reason I really wanted to do this video specifically was because we've had some really amazing items uh, coming out of cartel packs and what I mean by amazing is they are pure gold when it comes to buying low selling high with them uh, so for example we've had some amazing silver mounts and silver armor sets come out of these cartel packs and basically since they're silver they uh, are very common drops their prices drop pretty low on the gtn and they're just amazing deals to pick up and quite frankly i've been looking at the harbinger and the red eclipse gtns and no one seems to pick up these deals i always find them going for such low prices and i'm not too concerned about you know getting those deals for myself anymore I have more than enough credits than I know what to do with. So I think it's important to make these types of videos just to let you guys know what are the best items to buy low and sell high with. And so for this video, I'm gonna be talking about every cartel pack that's still available on the cartel market. Right now, the stalwart leader packs are on blowout sale and they'll be gone like in another few days. And then uh, I'll be talking about every other cartel pack as well. Just kind of running through collections, talking about which items to buy low and sell high with, what kind of deals you should look for on the GTN. So what are the prices you wanna kind of buy them at? And then, um, at the end of this video, I'll talk about blowout sales specifically. And so let's get right into the stalwart leader pack. Now, since this one is currently on blowout sale, as I mentioned at the end of this video, I'll show you guys some amazing deals I found on both the Red Eclipse and the Harbinger server. Because I want to kind of prove to you guys that the deals that I talk about in these videos definitely do happen. They're quite common. I don't play this game very often. I maybe look at the GTN 15, 30 minutes a day in total and I find pretty amazing deals. So someone who's hardcore buying low selling high on the GTN should definitely be able to find this kind of stuff. So what, what I mean by this is look for example at the stalwart leader pack. So right up here we have a really nice silver armor set, the Bestial Fanatic. Now believe it or not, even during this blowout sale, this one I still maintained at around 100 to 200,000 credits on the Harbinger Server. And for this particular one, I'm only looking at the upper body armor. Uh, there's nothing too special about the supplementary or the lower, even though the supplementary does have a helmet with it. But bottom line is the upper body armor for this is sold pretty high. Now I would definitely suggest, for example, if you found deals for the upper body armor for this one under 100k credits, that would probably be a pretty good one to buy. Another one here that you want to look for is the Resourceful Engineer. Now this one, since because of the blowout sale, has uh, dropped really low. Uh, even though it's a gold armor set, people still are willing to sell it for very low prices. You can get the supplementary for under 200k. Uh, sometimes you can find the upper body armor under like 500 or a mil, but uh, that's a little bit more rare. For this one, it's more the supplementary body armor, which contains those cool looking goggle things. Uh, th that has dropped really low, so that would have been a pretty good item to buy low sell high with. Now for this uh, stalwart leader pack, since obviously it's about to leave the cartel market, these deals are probably not gonna find them anymore. However, it's more just being used as an example, because remember that every other cartel pack I talk about, the Vigilant Defender, the um, Warbound Crusader, Steadfast Champion, these will all eventually go on blowout sale. So basically this video is just getting you guys ready for when those packs go on blowout sale, you guys know exactly what deals to look for, at what price you should look for them, and to get the maximum profit. So that's kind of what this video is about. I'm more using the Star Wars Leader as just an example of what you could have looked for if you were uh, buying low selling high during this blowout sale. So the next one is the Warstorm Veteran, very obviously one of the nicest silver armor sets, an awesome armor set for troopers, although that upper body armor has a lot of utility, you can use it across very many different classes. And I'll show you guys at the end of this video at the amazing deals I found on these, but basically if you find the upper body armor for under 100,000, even the supplementary body armor, I'd definitely pick those up. You could probably sell this armor set for millions in the coming months. Uh, the next one here is the Nathema B. So obviously it's the companion, it's gold, it's going to be pretty rare. But actually if you look on the GTN, it's dropped pretty low. You can find deals for 4 to 5 million credits for this one. And I just want to draw your attention to um, the, the, this is a reskin of the Nexu handler license. And the Nexu with the original skin, uh, that came from the Strategy Alliance packs. And back then, 
Um, once again, that only was going on the GTN for like 5 million credits. Now it sells for like 25, 30 million credits. And since this is basically a reskin, and in some respects it's even nicer than the original one, I would definitely suggest maybe for those of you who have more credits than normal, uh, maybe pick up a few of those for 5 million each. You can probably sell them for 20, 30 million once again in the coming months. It's going to be a pretty nice item to buy low, sell high with if any of the other ones are an indicator. Um, like what I mean by that is if any of the other companions like the Nexu, like the Act Dog, like they were all selling at this low of a price at one point and now they're just spiked up in price because uh, they're no longer common. Um, the next one here we have is the Alliance Console Deus. Now this one obviously is a reskin of a really nice gold mount. There's only two deuses in the game right now. One of them is that black gold mount that is very, very rare. This one is a silver version. And you can probably find deals for these for under 500,000 credits very easily on either the Harbinger or the Red Eclipse. Maybe on different servers as well. That's one thing I probably should have mentioned at the start of this video. I'm talking from experience on Harbinger and the Red Eclipse, which are two of the most highly populated servers. So they're the servers where you're probably going to find the most deals. Uh, now, if you're on a different server like the Ebon Hawk, the Progenitor, or something else, honestly, these deals are probably going to be pretty rare for you to find. Um, just because those servers have such a, like a much lower population than the rest. And I've looked on the GTN on those servers and I rarely find deals like these. So really this is just for people who are playing on the Harbinger and the Red Eclipse. Probably should have mentioned that at the start, I'm sorry. But yeah, I just wanted to make that disclaimer right here. Anyways, the Alliance Console Days, you can probably find deals for it under 500k. I find deals like those all the time on the Harbinger, on the Red Eclipse. Once again, at the end of this video, you'll see that I found deals for under 150,000 credits. So this thing dropped really low. Since it's a reskin of a gold mount and it actually looks super duper nice, it's got that whole platform vibe going to it. It's got a really nice silver color. This is one of the best mounts to buy low sell high with. So definitely pick those up. That's going to sell for like millions uh, very easily in the future. Now we have three gold mounts coming out of this pack. The Arc Like Nova, the Calf Hound, and the Behemoth. Now the Arc Like Nova and the Calf Hound drop to like 1 million when the blow sale hit. So those are great mounts to buy up for under a million credits. Uh, you will find deals for these like that. And then the Behemoth, now this one is a tank mount. If that drops under 2 million, that would have been a really good deal to buy. I talked about this in a, um, one of the most comprehensive guides I've done on my channel. It was a comprehensive guide on how to buy, buy low, sell high. I'll leave a link in the description because if you guys are really interested on this topic, definitely check it out. Everything I have to say on buying low, selling high, I've said in that video. It's using older content, like that was back when the Eternal Command Pack had just hit. So it's talking about older items. However, the concepts, the things I talked about in that video are all still applicable now. And basically in that video, I talked about this thing called bad mounts, bad gold mounts and good gold mounts. Basically gold mounts, since they're all the same rarity, they have the same kind of drop rate, they're all rare, but there are bad gold mounts that will, will basically be guaranteed to drop to like 1 million credits. Those are mounts like the Arc, like Nova and the Cath Hound. They're nice, they're rare, but they just don't have that extra thing to it that makes it extra special and so people aren't really willing to pay high prices for it uh, now that's in contrast to things like the behemoth that's obviously a tank mount we have very few of those in the game that's why you probably won't see that drop to anywhere near 1 million credits the same thing goes for the protector's command throne i'll talk about a little bit later that came out of the vigilant defender now that's obviously going to be very popular among the player base and people know that which means they're going to only put it up for extremely high prices but and now if you're now i said buy the behemoth under two million that's probably a no-brainer all of you guys are sitting and thinking well obviously but actually as you see at the end of this video uh, you will find deals like that uh, especially during times of blowout sale when these mounts become a lot more common i found a few deals for those on the red eclipse and believe it or not people didn't seem to buy those up there was one auction for it at 1.8 million credits and that was had only had three hours left of its auction auction which means if that guy put it up for a day 17 hours went by and no one picked it up at that price and it was just so glaringly one of the best deals you can probably pick up that I talk about in this video. This behemoth is a new mount, it's gold, it's no tank mount, it's got a nice flourish, definitely pick that up under 2 million credits. And then finally we have the Ord Tech Blaster. This one's a nice blaster. It has a really nice laser sticking out the bottom of it. I also quite like the design of the blaster itself, which is why I would definitely suggest buying that up as well, probably around the price of anywhere from 25 to 50,000 credits. Now, that ends it for the Star Wars Leader Pack. The reason I talked about this pack, once again, you're probably not going to find these deals anymore because the Star Wars Leader is about to get off the cartel market, which means everything's about to become a lot more rare in the coming weeks. However, the reason I mentioned that is just kind of what you should have looked for. And I didn't want to put this video up earlier because I wanted to let those people that knew about this kind of get those deals. And I wanted to kind of do it afterward as a, this is what you could have done that probably would have turned out pretty profitable. 
Uh, and this is just something to keep in mind now for the future blowout sales. So when I talk about this stuff in the Vigilant Defender and the uh, you know Warbound Crusader and all the other cartel packs, you know, kind of just keep those items in mind. So when those go on blowout sale, because this is all about preparing for blowout sale, that's when you will find the best deals. Because these hyper crates go on 55% off. A lot of people buy them up. A lot of people open them, and the GTN just gets flooded. It's happened with almost every single cartel pack, and you can find some of the best deals on them. So this video is the best way to prepare yourselves for that. Okay, so let's get into the Vigilant Defender pack and talk about what's good in here to buy low, sell high. So the first one here is a Cunning state Statesman. So just like the Resourceful Engineer, this one is a gold armor set that often drops very low. The helmet, which is that cap thing, now it doesn't look too nice, but you can pick, you can find deals already on the Harbinger, even when it's not on blowout sale for like 150 to 200,000 credits, which means when it hits blowout sale, it's probably going to drop to like 50,000 credits ish. So that would definitely, that would obviously be a very good deal. I mean, anything that is gold rarity that drops below 100,000 credits is probably going to be a good deal to pick up. Same thing for that upper body armor. I've seen it drop to around 500,000 credits. 500,000 credits to a million and so that would be a great uh, armor piece to pick up around that price range if it drops to like you know 700 800,000 credits I would definitely uh, suggest picking it up it's actually a very nice upper body armor piece um, next we have the Acclay now this one is the corrupted Acclay as with other gold mounts, I would suggest you pick it up under 2 million credits. Now, this is a good gold mount, okay? It's not bad. It's not going to drop to like a million. It's probably, if you're lucky if it drops to 2 million or below. And so definitely pick it up at that price. Once again, we have very few acclays in the game. This one's a very nice design. It's probably going to be a great item to pick up at that price. Now, the Vectron Colette, on the other hand, is a bad gold mount. The way I know that is because I've already seen deals for it at around 1 million credits. And once again, we haven't even hit the blowout sale yet. yet. So it's not even that common, but people are still, you know, only offering 1 million credits for it. So that would be a great item to pick up under 1 million credits. Uh, what's next? We have the Cartel Relaxation Skiff. This is, and these um, silver mounts that we've seen, like the Cartel Relaxation Skiff, the Deus that I talked about earlier, the Ackley we'll talk about a little bit later, and the Nexu. Uh, we have had some amazing silver mounts hit the game, and they are just going for the cheapest prices you can imagine. So definitely pick those up. The Cartel Relaxation Skiff, you can find deals for 300, 400,000 credits. I would already suggest picking those up. If it's under 500,000 credits, it's a good deal. And uh, if you want to wait till blowout sale, wait till blowout sale, it'll probably drop to like 100,000 credits, 200,000 credits. And it's just such a nice mount. It's basically a knockoff version of the old Cartel, uh, cartel Skiffs that you can get um, from way back in the day. Obviously, it doesn't look as nice as those, but it basically, you know, you, your character's lying down on it. You got those plate of grapes at the side. It, it goes off the very similar theme. And so it's going to be a great item to buy. All right, so we got the Cartel Relaxation Skiff done. The next one is the Protector's Command Throne. Now, obviously, I'd say if it drops to like two, three million credits, pick it up. It probably won't. It's already at like 20, 25 million on the Harbinger, uh, probably even higher on other servers. And I don't see it dropping anytime low. But if it does, obviously pick it up. I think everybody already knows that it's a no brainer. It's one of the most popular mounts they've released in like the past few months. Uh, and finally, we have the Flare. Now, believe it or not, this Flare was actually rather cheap back in the day. When this pack was just released, you could pick up the Flare for around 4 to 5 million credits. Nowadays, it costs like 10, 15, 20 million credits. It's in that price range. So if this Flare ever drops back to 5 million, maybe during the blowout sale, I would definitely suggest buying it because we have so few, so few Flares in the game. And judging from their trend, like they released all the good Flares first. The, the Corrupted Command Flare, the Eternal Command Flare, those were the best. Then the Havoc Squad one was okay. The Carnage one, which is the newest one, I don't particularly like it. There's nothing too fancy about it. So really, I think the Corrupted and the Eternal Command Flare are one of, are some of the best players we're ever going to get in the game. And so I would definitely suggest picking those up now. They will probably be really rare in the future. Like we're talking 30, 40, 50 million credit rare. I do kind of envision that. So if it's as low as 5 million, buy it. It's probably going to be a really amazing deal. Uh, all right, that actually ends the Vigilant Defender. There's nothing too fancy out of that. But the Warbound Crusader has quite a, uh, quite a few nice items. So this is the next cartel pack. Now we have the Hoth Defender armor set. Once again, just like the Cunning Statement and the Resourceful Engineer we talked about earlier, it's a gold armor set that drops really low. Both the upper body armor and the supplementary body armor, you're probably going to find deals under 500,000 credits for them. I would suggest buying those up because it's a gold item and even though it's not the nicest, it'll probably sell for more in the future. Uh, we have the Emote Excited Child. Now this Emote I've seen drop as low as 200,000 credits. It's got a really nice disco ball animation. We have very few of those in the game. The ones that do do that cost like millions of credits. And now you do a really weird dance with the Excited Child one, which is probably why it dropped so low. Like a lot of people don't like it. But either way, at 100,000, 200,000 credits in that price range, it's going to be a really good deal. So definitely think about picking those up. 
The next one we have here is the Corrupted Nexu. Now this one is going off the same theme as the Deus and the Cartel Relaxation Skip. It's a really good silver mount. It did drop as low as 500,000 credits back when the pack was first released. Now it costs upwards of 2-3 million credits, so it's already gone really high in price. But when we get closer to blowout sale and stuff, it's probably going to drop low once again. So if it drops in the range of like 500 600,000 credits, definitely pick it up. It's going to be a really good deal. Uh, this is easily a mount that's going to sell for millions in the future. Once again, we only have two Nexu mounts in the game. One of them is gold and really rare, and this is the other one. And the corrupted version, in my opinion, actually looks nicer. Next one we have here is the Monolith, the Crystal Clag Monolith. We only have two Monoliths in the game. Both of them are gold, and this one is uh, probably the nicer one. It's got some really nice green crystals coming out of it. Uh, this already sells around 3-4 million credits, so if it drops below 2 million, it's probably going to be a really good deal to buy. Uh, so definitely think about picking those up. And then we have the Sinar PR4. This one is a silver reskin of the Pod Racer. Uh, it drops as low as 100, maybe even lower than 100,000 credits. And so I would buy it up. I mean, I don't see how much, I don't see it selling for, you know, millions in the future or anything because we have so many Pod Racers now already. And it's kind of a silver reskin, nothing too nice or fancy about it. But under 100,000 credits, once again, you're probably going to be able to make a profit in the future. Um, we have the Imperial Devastator. So similar to the Behemoth, this one is another tank mount. I have not seen it drop anywhere near 3 or 2 million credits, but you never know about blowout sale. It might just uh, drop low enough the same way the Behemoth did. So if it drops below 2 million, it's going to be a great item to pick up. And then finally, we have the Corellian Blaster. Now, similar to the other blaster, it's kind of okay. Like, I was never a big fan of these blasters, but believe it or not, a lot of people like the style of these uh, blasters that look like real guns. And so I would suggest buying it. You never really know what it's going to sell for. And these blasters I've seen drop extremely low. We're talking below 50,000 credits. And so if it drops that low, it doesn't really hurt to buy a few and just hold on to them. You never know what they might sell for. And the final thing I'm actually going to talk about uh, from this pack and a few of the other ones is the platinum items. Uh, so I wouldn't suggest like, like the unstable peacemaker stuff, that's not going to drop. But believe it or not, the tithe platinum items actually do drop pretty low. So for those of you who are like me, who have like a lot of, a huge reserve of credits and you're looking to invest some big credits, uh, definitely think about buying the platinum, uh, what's the tithe lightsaber and the tithian lightsaber pike. Both of these right now are in the range of 30 to 40 million. I have seen both items actually drop as low as 20 to 21 million credits. And then when it drops that low, it's a really good deal to pick them up. These are easily going to sell for way more in the future. The only reason they're selling that low is because number one, they're not the most popular, even though I think they're actually... Um, I think they're nicer than the Senya stuff, like the Tithe lightsaber is nicer than the Senya lightsaber. A lot of people don't agree with me on that. However, um, it doesn't matter, it's still going to sell for like 80, 90 million in the future when these items get more rare. So I would definitely suggest picking those up. They're going to be huge money makers. But once again, it's only for the people that have a huge expenditure of credits. Okay, going on to the next one, because I'm trying to get through this quickly, this video is turning out to be really long. We have the Steadfast Champion Cartel Pack. Now, on this one, we have some really nice stuff. Firstly, we have the Intrepid Knights Armor Set. Now, this is the only silver armor set in this one, and it's extremely nice. Uh, I would actually think about investing in the entire armor set, because the lower body armor you can find for pretty cheap prices. The upper body armor is what you definitely want to look for, though. It's got a really nice breastplate, uh, and it doesn't drop that low. I mean, I haven't really seen it go below 200, 300,000 credits, but when it hits blowout sale, you never know. And so I would pick up deals for that under 100,000 credits. Actually, I'd scratch that. I did find a few deals under 100,000 credits back when the pack was first released, but only a few of them. Uh, for the most part, I didn't drop that low, but when it does, pick it up. So if it drops actually below like 150,000 credits, pick it up. I mean, just pick up as many as you can. This is easily an item that's going to sell for millions in the future. It's a really, really nice armor set. Um, we also have the Arctic Gundark. Now this one is actually a bad gold mount. I've seen it drop as low as 1, 1. 1.5 million credits, but I would honestly suggest if it drops below, uh, like, yeah, if it drops below 1.5 million credits, pick it up. The only reason I don't say like two are in that, two million credits in that range is because I know from the Gundark, from the Strategy Alliance pack, that it didn't do too well. Even though it's the same size as a Rancor, it kind of looks like a Rancor, no one treats it like a Rancor, so no one's going to pay the big bucks for it. Uh, even that, that Gundark from the Strategy Alliance pack, that doesn't even sell for too much now, and it's an extremely rare item. A lot, because I, I have a few, I've tried to sell them, people don't really buy them. So uh, this Arctic Gundark, it looks nicer and um, I'd be cautious with it though. I'd pick it up if it drops below 1.5 million. 
Now the other one, which is the Ve the Vectron Predator, this is a bad gold mount. Even though it goes off the style of Slave 1, and I thought it was going to sell for a lot, it it has easily dropped below 1 million already and once again that's without the blowout sale so if it drops below 1 million pick it up you're probably going to be able to sell it for more in the future and then the regal Vorn tiger now this isn't like the nexu or the acclay it's not the most popular mount but i've seen it drop as low as 200 300 credits i would just say if it drops below like 300 credits it's going to be a good mount to buy we only have three Vorn tigers in the game two of them are gold and this is the silver one so you know it's not too common so I'd, I'd kind of think about picking it up and then finally we have another flare the havoc flare so if this one drops like below three million pick it up i've seen it drop as low as four million i bought quite a few of them at four million but um, if you're kind of on a budget and stuff you don't want to spend those many credits yeah if it drops below three million pick it up uh, you're not going to see deals like those until the blowout sale i mean right now it's up as high as i think eight nine million credits so maybe it'll drop when the pack uh, goes on blowout sale and then we have the dread warlord cartel pack next so for this one we have the typhian disciples armor set believe it or not i thought this was going to be a lot rarer than the gifted shadow but it, it kind of switched around the gifted shadow is extremely rare and expensive and the typhian disciple has dropped pretty low if both the if the upper or the supplementary drops below one million pick it up uh, it's a really nice armor set and I do see people paying high prices for it in the future. Uh, it hasn't dropped quite that low yet. It's dropped as low as 1.5 million for both the upper and the supplementary, but it'll drop below 1 million easily during the blowout sale. Uh, we have two gold mounts. We have the Thuvasaur and the Intimidator. Both of these have already dropped as low as 1 million credits. If they drop below 1 million, it's a good deal. It's a good uh, thing to pick them up. I mean, the Thuvasaur is just a completely new mount, so uh, that would be a good thing to pick up at 1 million. Although, I have no doubt they'll reskin in the future at some point. The Kukri Intimidator, is like many of the other Pod Racer mounts, but since it's gold, it goes off of a different design, it would probably be a good thing to pick it up. Uh, once again, under 1 million credits. We have the Inferno Devourer. This one's really nice. A lot of people really like it, so I'd pick it up at like under 200, 300,000 credits like the other silver mounts. Uh, the Vrak pet. Now, this is actually a pet that would uh, be not too bad of an um, idea to pick it up because the cool thing about it is it actually glows, and you don't have many of those in the game. Uh, the only other one we have is the Ethereal Rackling, which is actually a cartel market item. It's only available uh, sometimes during the Rackle event, and so I would suggest picking it up just because it's a pretty unique pet, and who knows what people will pay for in the future. It's not too expensive now, I don't think. And then finally, the Volatile Tuning. Once again, like the Platinum items, this is only for the high ballers who have tons of credits and want to invest it. If the Volatile Tuning drops anywhere from the range of 20 to 30 million credits, it's going to be one of the best things to buy. I mean, this tuning, believe it or not, has not dropped below 30 million. I've not seen it either in the Harbinger or the Red Eclipse drop below 30 million. That's insane. Even the Lightning Weapon Tuning, when it was first released back in the day, dropped to like, uh, I don't know, like 9, 7 million credits in that range. And this one hasn't dropped below 30 million. It is just such an insanely popular tuning for good reason. It is really, really nice. It looks good on just about any weapon, especially on lightsabers. And so, uh, yeah, if that drops like 20, 30 million, pick it up because it's probably going to be one of the rarest uh, tunings or maybe even items in the game in the future. And then finally, from the Armed Resistance Cartel Pack, almost over, guys, um, we have the Dynamic Paladin. So similar to all the other gold armor sets I've talked about, this one is a gold armor set that drops really low. I've seen deals for the helmet as low as 250,000. I've seen deals for the upper body armor as low as 500,000. I've bought up quite a few of them myself. I would definitely suggest you guys buy them up as well. Any like This gold armor set's rather nice, so if it falls as low as that price, uh, pick it up. We have the Vectron Furrow and the Boma. Both of these are bad gold mounts. They dropped as low as 1 million credits. They're also not the nicest. I really hate the design of the Vectron Furrow. I think it looks absolutely horrendous, which is why it's dropped so low. The Boma, once again, is a new gold mount. Uh, we haven't, we don't have a beast like this in the game. So it's nice. Pick, it, pick either of them up under 1 million credits. You'll probably make... Um, uh, profit in the future. I would though personally ignore the Vectron Fur altogether. I think it's an ugly mount. I wouldn't really deal with it. Now we have the Deep Stalker Acclay. So similar to the Nexu, the Deus, and the Cartel Relaxation Skiff, this is a really nice silver mount. Believe it or not, it hasn't dropped below one. I mean, it hasn't dropped um, quite as low as the other ones. I've seen it drop just below one million, so around 900,000 credits. That's pretty high to pay for a silver mount. Uh, but since it's an Acclay, I would pick it up actually. So if it drops below one million, pick it up. But if you're on a budget, wait until blowout sale. It'll probably drop as low as like 500, 400,000 credits. Then pick up as many of them as you can. This is an item I guarantee you that will sell for millions in the future. Uh, 
Okay, and then we have the Ardent Defender Saber. This one's a, just a kind of a nice lightsaber hilt. I personally just like it a lot, and so I kind of pick it up if it drops like in 50,000 credits, 25,000 credit range. I'm not even sure if it's dropped that low. The last time I checked, it was as high as 300,000 credits. So if it drops to like 25, 50,000 credits, pick it up. A lot of the other silver weapons have dropped that low, especially during times of blowout sale, so it won't be too hard to find deals like those. The Fallen Red Crystals are actually really nice as well. Uh, this is one of the very few crystals in the recent string of cartel packs where the crystal is actually rather nice. And so that's dropped as low as like 50,000 credits, the crystals. So you can pick those up at 50,000 credits. Uh, they'll probably sell for a few, uh, maybe five, six, seven hundred thousand 700,000 credits in the future. And then finally, we have the Vine Cat and the Flare. So I'll keep this one short because there's nothing too special about these. If they drop to like two, three million credits, which they probably won't, but if they do, obviously pick it up. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll drop that low during blowout sale. Uh, the Vine Cat is already, I've seen it as low as four million. So maybe it will drop that low. I don't know. But I, I don't really know about those. Um, yeah, I, I bet they'll sell for more in the future. All right, guys. So that was really long and a lot of content. And uh, hopefully you guys followed along on that. Basically, the point of that whole rant was just about uh, giving you guys a good sense of what I think are good items to buy low and sell high with. I'm using knowledge, guys. I've been scouring the GTN for the past month. Like, it's just kind of my pastime. It's a hobby. I like doing it. You know, in the morning, in the evening, I spend like 30 minutes. I go on the GTN. I look. And if I, I look to see if we can find any good deals. And so this is all using my knowledge of everything I've seen on the GTN for the past few months. It's using my knowledge of all the past blowout sales that I participated in and the good deals that I found and bought. And I think that's what I want to end this video on. Let's look at some amazing deals I found just in the last week on the uh, stalwart leader blowout sale. All right, and the reason I'm gonna look at these stalwart leader sales is to show that during times of blowout sales, you do indeed find the deals that I was talking about earlier in this video. So it's kind of not just out from the air, it's actually from experience with previous blowout sales and stuff like that. And so, um, as you guys can see here, 3,510 cartel coins for just one pack. What I like to do is I like to pull up the collections tab here just so I can go straight up through the items and try to find some good deals on them. I am here on the Red Eclipse server, and one thing to note is I actually didn't find many of, the, of these deals on the Harbinger server. So, funnily enough, or I guess, I don't know how to say that. Um, you didn't, these deals didn't end up showing up on all servers. It was more just kind of the Red Eclipse. But as you guys can see here, the Beastial Fanatic is way too expensive. I suggested buying that under 100,000 credits. So 240,000 is just a little bit too high. Looking at the Gold Armor set here, the Emperor Mantle, we can try to see if we found good deals on them. Probably not. And while I just here, actually, the Supplementary Body Armor is 500,000 credits. That's not bad considering it does come with a crown. I actually would buy that up probably for 500,000 credits. But the Resourceful Engineer, I believe this one is pretty cheap. Yeah, here we go, like 175,000 credits for a gold helmet. That's not bad, and that's probably going to sell for a lot more. Uh, the upper body armor, I believe, is, okay, it's up here, like 2.2 million. So that's obviously not going to be good to buy low sell high with. The War Storm Veteran. This one is just such a nice silver armor set, and I bet it's going super cheap. So looking here, we see it's at, um, uh, let's see, what was it at? Well, see, the lower is there for like 5,000. You can buy those up. But here we go, like we've got the upper here for 50,000 credits got a ton of them here to buy up and then the supplementary here at 79,000 credits so all of that is good if it's under 100k it's probably going to be a really good deal uh, going on here we can look at um, here we go the alliance consoles dais so we can check that out oh I, for, I guess first we're going to check up the emote uh, it's a pretty nice emote but that's way too expensive like 550,000 credits for an emote maybe if it was like as low as like 100,000 credits probably would be worth buying up Looking at the days here, here we go, like amazing deals, 170,000 credits. That is easily a mount that's going to sell for millions. So um, that would be a great item to buy low. Again, if it's under 500,000 credits, it's, it's going to be a good deal. And even if you want to buy it for higher than 500, buy it for 600, 700, you're still probably going to make a profit off of it. I see that selling for like two, three million. Here we go, an awesome, another awesome deal, like under two of them or three of them under a million credits. That's all good to buy up. You can also check up the Raptor, I guess. That's another silver mount. The reason I didn't mention it earlier was because there's so many reskins of the Raptor. It's probably not one of the best items to buy. You want to focus more on the Deus, for example, because that's go uh, you know there's only two of them in the game, so it's a lot more rare. And look at that awesome deal. The Behemoth for under 2 million. So if you never thought it would drop, look at this. It dropped to like four or five different sellers who are willing to sell it for under 2 million credits. Definitely think about buying those up. Even if it was around 3 million credits, it's still probably a good thing to buy. So that uh, Devastator mount from the next cartel pack, that's definitely something you want to keep your eye on during the time of the blowout sale. The Calf Hound here is like, again, once as I said, it was like a bad gold mount. 
that's not to say it's a bad mount in general i'm just talking about it in terms of price it's just a, ter a term i came up with probably not the best thing to describe it but whatever we can also look at the tuning but that's not going to drop really low and then the ore tech blaster this one's a really nice blaster i quite like it and uh, here it's here for like eight thousand credits so that's obviously a really good buy uh, that's definitely going to sell for quite a few if you want in a good example look at the artful tricksters blaster that was from the uh, plunders pack and it was going for the same prices you know five thousand ten thousand credits now it sells for like five hundred thousand credits to a million credits it's a super nice blaster a lot of people are really into it so that's a perfect example of just how, buy, how buying low and selling high can ma make you a huge amount of profits excuse me sorry about that i'll try to edit that out and i was holding in a cough as i was speaking uh, looking at the Nathema Beast Handler license, this is going here for 6 million. However, on the Harbinger, it's actually as low as like 5 million. Anyway, so that's kind of a good example of how uh, the blood sales are a really good time to buy low, sell high. And again, I guess I just kind of want to make this update video. This is 30 minutes long. That's insane. But I kind of had a lot to say. For any of you who actually stuck around, kudos to you guys. Uh, what I would suggest is just kind of keep these prices in mind uh, for when you go and buy low, sell high. But trust me, if you actually follow what I said in this video and buy those items at low prices, if you find those deals, you will make a huge amount of credits in the future. So hold on tight until the uh, Vigilant Defender pack goes on blowout sale, then definitely look for those items. However, just in the meantime, if you're browsing the GTN and you, um, you know, just search up some of these items, see if they're going for low prices. You never know what you might find. There are some amazing deals I've found in the past. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you have any questions, I always love answering questions about buying or selling high. It's kind of my little area of expertise. I don't want to say I'm amazing at it or anything because I'm kind of not. There are probably a lot of people who are way more adept at this. I'm just one of the people who are making videos, but I will try to help you if I can. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.